there guys, my name is Coast Shadow Dogs to Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is from the Christmas events at your UK theme parks. Now, we're going to be talking about five UK theme park Christmas events to try and wipe away those close season blues. Santa's sleepover at the Alton Towers Resort, Drayton Manor's Magical Christmas, Alice in Winterland at Lightwater Valley, Christmas at Flamingoland and Christmas at Poulton's. So those are five big UK theme park Christmas events. If you want to go and visit them, I've got links to these Christmas events in the description down below. So make sure you go and check the links out. And for now, let's get into some details then about these Christmas events. Now, if you want to check out the dates and the times, uh, then make sure you go check out those links. Uh, this is just going to be about the details of the actual events, just so you guys know what's in store at these events. So let's start off with event number one. This is the Santa sleepover at the Alton Towers Resort. So this is exclusive to hotel guests. So this is for all the hotels, Splash Landings, Enchanted Village, Alton Towers Hotel and the CBeebies Land Hotel. So um, yeah, just if you're a hotel guest, if you want to come to this event and you want to get these kind of things, you have to book into one of the hotels. Uh, but some of the things, there are exclusive to some hotels or just one hotel. So I'm going to tell you all about that uh, in a little bit. But Mutiny Bay, excluding Wicker Man, CBeebies Land, Spinball Wizard, and Hex. It was dual on one occasion, but that's because Hex was closed for one day. Um, or I think a couple, I'm not too sure. It was at least one day and then they replaced it with Jewel for that day. Uh, but it's usually Hex on the website. Those are the rides exclusive for you if you stay in the hotel. So if you stay in the hotel, you can get those rides uh, exclusively. So you can come into the park and experience those rides. You can experience uh, some of the uh, uh, You can look at some of the rides during close season, you know. Um, you know, I think the area around Wicker Man is going to be painted up nice and festive, even though it's not open. You know, they still like to make the park look nice and festive. They've got a massive Christmas tree at Tower Street, so again, that's one big thing to think about. Um, you can visit Santa in Santa's Woodland Grotto. That is located in the heart of CBeebies Land. you got tickets to the Pantomime Robin Hood, tickets to Kariba Creek, nine holes of extraordinary golf, a festive evening meal, delicious buffet breakfast, fabulous evening entertainment including meets and greets, shows, a Christmas cinema and of course a farewell from Santa himself. I know all you kids out there would love to meet Santa Claus and get a farewell message from him. Then if you want that, then you're going to have to book to this event. So the T's and C's, the Santa's Woodland Grotto is exclusive to the Alton Towers Hotel and the C Beavers Land Hotel. So if you're staying in both those hotels, you get a ticket to visit Santa himself. If you're staying in the other hotels, then unfortunately you will not get that. Santa's Festive Breakfast is exclusive to the, to the Alton Towers Hotel and the Luxury Tree Houses at the Enchanted Village. And the, and the Christmas Teepee Party, which is another sort of side event, that's exclusive to only the Splash Landings Hotel. So, uh, big stuff there from Alton Towers on the Santa Sleepover event this year. Like I said, uh, th this sounds like a brilliant event for families. Brilliant, brilliant event. Moving on then to Drayton Manor's Magical Christmas. So this is Drayton Manor's Magical Christmas. So uh, again, dates in the website, all the links in the description down below. So make sure you go check those links out. But let's have a look at the different things you get to experience at Magical Christmas. Meet Father Christmas himself in our spectacular Castle of Dreams and discover a magical atmosphere. For those of you who don't know where Castle of Dreams is, and you're familiar with Drayton Manor, well, it's on the old Excalibur site, which is the old boat ride that closed back in 2012. That's been used now as a Santa's Grotto, or a bit more than a Santa's Grotto, because there's a little bit more to the story before you go and meet Santa himself in the Castle of Dreams. So, you know, they've done a really good job with that. Uh, and made use of a good site since Excalibur closed. Enjoy over 25 Thomas and Friends themed rides and attractions, including the festive film in the 4D cinema, Ice Age and Mammoth Christmas. I've actually watched that film, not in the cinema, but I, I've actually got the DVD for that, and it's a really good family Christmas movie. So, to, to experience in 4D, that is, that's something else. And of course, you know where the 4D cinema is. It's in the old... It used to be known as the Cartoon Network Show Street, um, but I think the Cartoon Network brand's gone, been gone for a couple of years now, so... You know, it's just like a regular street again. So the 4D cinema, it's going to be in there. Uh, so that attraction's available uh, on the selected times when the film is being shown. Uh, you've got experience snowfall in Thomasland every day, every single day. So that's an interesting thing. I wonder how they do that, especially when it's not snowing. So again, that's interesting to spot. 
incredible live shows throughout the day, including a captivating parade filled with song, dance, lights, and marvellous characters, plus a very special guest. I wonder who it could be. If you want to find out, check out the event. Uh, walk through our Winter Wonderland of festive decorations around the park. Drayton Manor do a fantastic job putting those decorations around the park, so uh, no surprises there. Meet the reindeer when you wander around our 15 acre zoo and visit all our resident furry friends. So the, so the zoo will be available during the festive event. Every magical day finishes with a firework display. Fantastic. But the Christmas firework display just looked fantastic. Uh, plus, our rainy day guarantee will be in place. So basically, if you don't know anything about this rainy day guarantee, and it goes through the rest of the season as well. Uh, basically, if it rains for two or more hours, you can return to the park for free. But again, I'll check the T's and C's for the ex expiration of those days, especially if it rains during Christmas. Because um, I don't think there will be much time to return to the park for free, especially if it's um, getting closed for a couple of months, ready for the main season to start again next year. So that's Drayton Manor's Magical Christmas. Like I said, please make sure you check out this event, because I really recommend all these events, uh, including Magical Christmas at Drayton Manor. Next up, Alice in Winterland at Lightwater Valley in Ripon, North Yorkshire. So Lightwater Valley, great park. It's a good little park, home to rides such as Apollo, Ultimate, uh, Raptor Attack. Uh, brilliant, brilliant attractions. I never got the chance to do Raptor Attack when I was at Lightwater Valley a couple of years ago. But, um, you know, it's something to go back for. And, of course, if Lightwater Valley do ever make any new investments uh, for the coaster market or the flat ride market, then I'll be sure to try and make a return as soon as possible. So, discover a fantastical new season adventure at Lightwater Valley this Christmas with the enchanting Alice in Winterland event. So this is running from selected dates on Friday the 22nd of November to the 30th of December, so this event is already going, so uh, it'd be a good chance for all of you guys, that, uh, with all the rides that aren't available, uh, you can go check out some close season updates while you're in there and stuff like that. Same with Alton Towers, to be fair, it's a good chance to try and get some construction of the world of David Williams if you uh, get near there. I know with Hex being open, you know, that's on Fountain Square, so that's right next to where the World of David Williams is going to be and the dungeon. Uh, and of course, Dark Forest is closed off over winter, so, you know, it's a good chance to get some close season updates while you're down there. Another park. Uh, families can delight in the festive lights. They embark on a journey of discovery to meet the Mad Hatter, the Queen of Hearts, and of course, Alice on their magical trip. So, I would double check the website to see what rides and attractions are available, uh, and also the dates and times of these different. Uh, sort of activities going on uh, at this event. So again, website's in the description down below. So that's Alice in Winterland. Like I said, a good little event for families uh, and a very good event uh, overall for Christmas, really. Christmas at Flamingo Land. Now, of course, Flamingo Land's going to be a very interesting one. They've got a lot going on, which I'm going to sort of list off here. Um, yeah, Flamingo Land's got a lot going on at the minute. Of course, you saw the... I was watching the construction update, actually, the 10 looping coaster for next year uh, from someone, and the cheetahs were actually looking at the ride being constructed, so even the animals are curious. Um, so, let's have a look, then, at what you can experience at Christmas at Flamingo Land. Uh, you can meet Santa in his grotto and share your Christmas wish. Have you been good this year? So you can go inside Santa's grotto, uh, get maybe a gift, uh, enter Santa's magical toy shop to select your very own present, so again, very nice for families. Join Mrs. Claus and make some festive Christmas cookies, a nice little activity. Meet Gunther and Eska, our two real reindeer, and learn how to make some extra special reindeer food to take home just in time for Christmas Eve, so again, that's a very nice activity. A festive sweet treat where you can decorate some yummy Christmas marshmallows, that sounds very nice, I love my own marshmallows. Join the elves to make your own very magical milkshake. I'm not a massive fan of milkshakes, but it's a good thing to try. A family activity which encourages children to write a personalised letter to Santa before posting it in the special post box. So, again, that's a very nice uh, little thing for kids. Uh, make personalised Christmas tree decorations to take home or decorate our Christmas tree. Again, a very nice little attraction. The centrepiece of every Christmas is a fabulous tree, so here's the perfect place to hang your handmade decorations. Meet our animals in the stable in a real-life nativity scene. That sounds good. Uh, take a trip on the Santa Express, in brackets, weather dependent. So if the weather is bad, don't forget, the Santa Express may not be running. So I would double-check the website. Again, link in the description down below uh, this video. Uh, so you can double-check the times and if it's going to be running or not. It depends on the weather. 
Uh, our festive magical experience will also include our fun-filled Dino Stone Park and Muddy Duck Farm rides in our indoor HMS Bouncy Play area. That attraction is for children under 1.25 meters, so if you've got children above that, they can't go in the Bouncy Play area, but you've got the fantastic attractions in Muddy Duck, Muddy Duck Farm and the Dino Stone Park as well. That may or may not include Pterodactyl, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, so I would double check the website again uh, just to see what attractions are available over Christmas. See up to 140 different species, including our cheetahs, new for 2019. Uh, these will, there will also be a daily bird show, sea lion show, and keeper talks. And you can also meet Peter Rabbit himself at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. at the Mansion House. So again, a very nice attraction for families there. Uh, Peter Rabbit's been a big part of from England for a couple of years now, so it'd be very nice to see that. Obviously, there is still the rumour that a Peter Rabbit dark ride attraction could be replacing. Uh, Miss Chief Mansion in the future, in the near future, in a couple of years' time. So, you know, is that going to happen? You know, is the Peter Rabbit brand improving ever so steadily ever since? You know, they've got that little play area now thing to Peter Rabbit and things like that. So, uh, I think the Peter Rabbit brand's going to improve uh, and I think it's going to expand. And I think that ride replacing Miss Chief Mansion is coming. I think it's coming uh, in a couple of years' time. Um, so that's Flamingoland. Moving on to the final event now, Christmas at Paltons. Now this used to be called Winter Wonderland. Now it is marketed as a Christmas Winter Wonderland, but it's, it's actually called on the website Christmas at Paltons. So I'm not sure if they've ditched the Winter Wonderland name. I kind of liked that name, but I think with stuff like Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, and I'm sure other places are doing Winter Wonderland called events, uh, it, it's kind of a strategic move in the long run. But Christmas at Poulton's, let's have a look then at what you can experience at Poulton's Park over the Christmas season. Meet Santa in his magical grotto, tickets must be pre-booked. Uh, Santa's grotto tickets include a gift for children and a festive treat for adults. Now, just to um, sort of let you guys know, the magical grotto is open from half nine till quarter past five. Uh, but 12 noon till 7pm on the 20th of December. On selected days throughout November and December, uh, it is 9.30 till quarter past five. Uh, but on the 20th of December, it's 12 noon till 7pm. Um, so book early to avoid disappointment. That's one of the big things on the website. Experience Peppa Pig World in a festive setting and see Pepper and George perform the Bing Bong Christmas song daily. So that's a good attraction for families down in that area that may... And to be fair, I've always said it, and a lot of enthusiasts have said it, Peppa Pig World that opened at the park in 2011, that was the area that put Poulton's Park on the map big time. I know Cobra and Edge and things like that did well for the thrill market, but in terms of an overall park, you know, Peppa Pig World really put Poulton's Park on the map and it made them... Uh, bigger than they were. It really did. You know, they were a great park before then, but they just made it even better with that Peppa Pig World. So, you know, if it wasn't Peppa Pig World, maybe we wouldn't see all these big new stuff at Poulton's today. You never know. Maybe we would. Um, enjoy selected rides and attractions, including Lost Kingdom and Critter Creek. Now, I don't know if that includes the two big roller coasters, and the same with the, the Caterpillar Coaster and Critter Creek. I'm not too sure. You'll have to double check the website for that. Uh, park entry is included with your booking and the rides and attractions are open from 10 a.m. So I would double check times uh, just to see if those times will change at all, uh, depending on weather, depending on the days, etc, etc. Uh, tail, take in the park, atmosphere with festive lights, music and Christmas trees. Again, they do a fantastic job with decorations every year, so not surprised about that. Indulge an in exclusive Christmas shopping, food and drink. And you can meet and greet festive characters, including Pe Pepper and George, in their winter scarves, hats, and coats. So there we go. So that is your Christmas uh, indulgement on the events in the UK theme park. Again, links to all those uh, Christmas events that you can book tickets for in the description down below. I don't find any negatives on them. I would highly recommend each and every one of those events and all the other Christmas events going on at the other UK theme parks. Uh, those are just the five big ones that I've spotted, uh, but there are other ones as well. So I would double check the websites for every UK park just to make sure they are running a Christmas event. Uh, and again, like with the uh, Magical Grotto and things like that, I think overall with these events, book early to avoid disappointment with anything really. Because uh, if you bought your tickets early, it means you get to experience the fun and your full experience. So I would recommend booking those tickets very, very early to avoid disappointment for any of these events uh, and any part of these events. So overall, big, big, big positives uh, from these events. So, you know, I feel like uh, they're running some fantastic events this year. 
Same with next year. I think next year is going to be brilliant for Christmas. So, uh, you know, with Alton Towers, with their exclusive ride lineup for hotel guests, maybe they could expand that ride lineup if it's not too cold. Maybe run a couple of the coasters, do like an American kind of thing. Uh, like I said, we, I mean, I know there's been reports of snow for like months, but, you know, it's hardly, it's hardly likely that we're going to get snow anytime soon. So, um, you know, I'd like to see maybe Wicker Man run if it's not too cold, or Nemesis, or Galactica. Uh, and same with the other parts, to be fair, if they're not going to run Ultimate or Raptor Attack at Lightwater Valley or, um, dare I say, Hit Hero at Flamingo Land, if they're not going to run any of these coasters, then, or if it's not too cold, then I would run these coasters. So, uh, anyway, I like these Christmas events. I hope you guys like it too. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Child. Keep them in the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.